fighting against um, bloodline cases, fighting against bloodline cases. Um, so I've got a few scriptures that I just want us to go through. Tobata Pinda part time year prayer. Tobata Pinda part time year prayer. Ndrukudauti tiverenge Exodus chapter 20 verse 5. Let us read Exodus chapter 20 verse 5. Uh, those with mobile Bibles, don't wait to shut no garage sheet as you read. chapter 20, verse 5. Nasin Chambos and Makuzi Kamira, Chambos and Maksa Popota. Exodus chapter 20, verse 5. Um, it says, You shall not bow down to them nor save them. For I, okay, let us start from verse 4. You shall not make for yourself a curved image. Any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth, you shall not bow down to them nor save them. 
Do not to umake pakanzi. You shall not make for yourself a curved image, any likeness of anything that is in heaven above. What is in heaven above? In heaven above, we have got the stars, we have got the moon. Or oh, that is in the earth beneath anything that is underground, we have got minerals and a lot of other things. Or oh, that is in the water under the earth, you shall not bow down to them nor save them. Ipapapa pakanzi, or that is in the water, parkundi bata bata ipapapa. Nda ije jiji. Taneta, nevan varikumuka, taneta, ne this uh, ameno, kuti can I say a wave, irikusimuka, yevan varikunzi, varku, vanemwe ya wenjuzu, van varikunzi varikuna mata njuzu, van varikunzi vanemwe ya yekumvura, varikuna mata jekumvura. Yet the Bible is stating clearly that you shall not bow down to anything, even those things that are under the, uh, that are in the water under the earth, you shall not bow down to them nor save them. But ije jindi chitaura kune muna atori ni machira enjuzo mumba make. Ndi chitaura ije jikune muna arukuto pembeza mashave enjuzo. Kune wanu arukuenda wachino mwa ya ma rice ne ma sweet ne ma wine mumfura. Wachinzi wane mwe ya ye kumfura. Worshipping things that are in the water worshipping the marine um uh, marine animals marine powers under the water but shokora mwari richi jirambiza but apasipo shapo panenya yangu the bible continues to say you shall not bow down to them nor save them for i the lord your god am a jealous god visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me so Mvunzo, nyaya yangu iripa God visiting the iniquities of the father to the fourth generation. Yet tinampuya ijeji, vachazonzi mpuya in some years to come. Vachazonzi tateguru in some years to come. Variku pembe za mwea ye njuzu. Variku pembe za mwea ye kumvura. Variku pembe za machira emizimu. Tinevan wanotona mata machira emizimu arimu zimbadzavo. Tinevan wanotona mata mamashavi eku vima. Tinevan wanotona mata mashavi eku rima. Vanema machira ekuna mata zvinhu izvozvo vachikanda fodya pasi vachipembedza zvinhu izvozvo but shokora mwari richi zviramba but chipari kundi bata ndepe kuti zvamuri kuita nasi zvamuri kudyara nasi zvine pamucha zvikowa zvine vacha zvikowa kumashure kwenyu because mwari vari kuti i will visit the iniquity of the fathers to the fourth generation so jese zvauri kuita nasi chese chauri kudyara nasi ziva kuti you are doing it for four generations to come after you. Ziva kuti urku jiti rava zukuru veva zukuru vako vachao ya mumashure mako. Tinevani ije jiju varkutambura nekuti ambuya waka pembe za mashavi iwa yaya. Tinevani varkutambura right now nekuti kuna sekuru wakano pembe za waka bikira doro waka pemperera mwea iyo hii ya kushunguru za vani ije jiju ya kune za vani ije jiju so Ipapo, ukango pafunga. Dodo tumbo na mato uti mwari ndi gonesei. Kutindisa jgara a case that is going to haunt my children. A case that is going to haunt my grandchildren. A case that is going to haunt four generations that are going to come after me. So that is what the, the, the word of God is saying. I will visit the iniquities of the father to the fourth generation. Ka unu kese kawaita nas ukaita fambi ziva kuti wajgara chipfambi for four generations to come after you. Ukaroya ziva kuti wajgara kuroya for four generations to come after you. If you are going to commit suicide, ziva kuti wajgara suicide mu bloodline for four generations to come after you. Whatever it is that you are doing right now, the way that you are living your life right now is going to affect four generations to come after you. Ipapo ukango fungi sisa izozo, uchagadziri sa unu wako, uchagadziri sa ukama wako na mwari. Because I don't believe kune muna nudaku siya ajgarira case, ma generations achawu ya after ye. So, that is Exodus chapter 20 verse 5. Uh, let us go to 2 Kings chapter 20. 2 Kings chapter 20. Pataka, pandaka ita introduction near this theme. Uh, inya yanda katombo taura nejayo. 2 Kings chapter 20. Let us go to 2 Kings chapter 20. Vanema mobile Bibles mufamba nini. 2 Kings chapter 20 verse 12 to 19. Verse 12 to 19. 
at the time Berodak Baladan, the son of Baladan, king of Babylon, sent letters and a present to Hezekiah, for he heard that Hezekiah had been sick. Marker, he sent a present. He sent letters and a present to Hezekiah, for he heard that Hezekiah had been sick. And Hezekiah was attentive to them and showed them all the houses of his treasures, the silver and gold, the spices and precious ointments, all his armory, and that was found among his treasures. There was nothing in his house or in all his dominion that Hezekiah did not show them. Then Isaiah the prophet went to the to King Hezekiah and said to him, What did these men say and from where did they come to you? So Hezekiah said they came from a far country from Babylon. And he said, What have they seen in your house? So Hezekiah answered, They have seen all that is in my house. There is nothing among my treasures that I have not shown them. Then Isaiah said to Hezekiah, Maka Mashoko a Hezekiah. Hear the word of the Lord. Behold, the days are coming when all that is in your house and what your fathers have accumulated until this day shall be carried to Babylon. Nothing shall be left, says the Lord. Amen. Nothing. Behold, days are coming when all that is in your house and what your fathers have accumulated until this day. Not, this is now, a, it's a generational blessing because it's all the riches and all the wealth that the fathers had accumulated. It is an ancestral blessing that is being uh, spoken about. Shall be carried to Babylon and nothing shall be left. Jesse jichatakur was renda ku Babylon hakuna chichasar. And they shall take away some of your sons who will descend from you, whom you will beget, and they shall be eunuchs in the place of the king of Babylon. Makapakan's eunuchs. Eunuchs, what are eunuchs? If you are going to research, you will find that these were castrated men. Eunuchs were castrated men. Varume, vaitor, wavono pingudzwa, avacha jare, avachi sina any feeling for a woman. This is what is going to happen to the sons of Hezekiah that he is going to beget. Why? Because he has opened his doors to these strangers and he has shown them everything that is in his house and even his treasures. Jesse, ufumi wese nema generational blessings that have been passed from generation to generation until generation ya Hezekiah. Jicha uya zotor wanevanu veku Babylon. And not only that Hezekiah, but vanava kova koma anavamwe vaucha jarwa, vaucha jara. Vacha uya votor wavono itwa ma eunuchs ku Babylon. Which means vacha, vacha no viswa. Avacha avacha jare avacha produce avacha rore avacha avachi nama feelings e kuti vano akurora vango ve vanunje vanongora rama they are going to become eunuchs in Babylon we want to hear what Hezekiah has to say about this so Hezekiah said to Isaiah the word of the Lord which you have spoken is good for he said will there not be peace and truth at least in my days. At least in my days. Such selfishness. Kuva selfish kwekuti. I don't care what is going to happen to my sons. I don't care if they are going to come and get collect all the treasures that we have been passed on even from my, my forefathers. I don't care about that. All I am concerned about and all I care about is the peace that is going to be there in my days. So, Tinevanu, who are here, vane, vane, vanana se kuru nana gogo, vakaita ma mistakes akafanana, ne ma mistakes akaitwa na Hezekiah. This was a mistake that Hezekiah made. And God is now sending Isaiah to tell him, because we have done this, this is what is going to happen. Instead of Hezekiah going before God and saying, Lord, I know I've committed a mistake, but please, Mari, musazondi batirava na vangu, neva zukuru vangu, nekuda kwe mistake ya ndaita. Iye chaari kuto taura kuti as long as mumazua angu inini maitarugari. 
In other words, tinana se kuru na nampuya. Vane mawe ma covenants ava kaita. Vachito woods wa kuti but kana taita covenant newe ye kutu uchava murimi. Kana taita covenant newe ye kutu unke une fuma. But in in return for that. In return for that, vanaska na vemumusha mako avacha rorwe. In return for that, vanako mana vemumusha mako avacha ita marombe. In return for that, vanako mana vemumusha mako avacha ita jida kwa avacha dzungaira. But vakato vuma vakati as long as mumazua angu yini nda ita mukurumbira. As long as mumazua angu yini nda ita rugare ajinabasa. This is the attitude that Hezekiah had. This is the same attitude that Hezekiah had. And Tinavo, we have got such forefathers. We have got such ancestors. Vanema covenants avayita. Vanema rituals avayita. And they were making those covenants and those rituals on behalf of even generations that were to come after them. They would make such covenants on the expense of generations that would come after them as long as I have got peace in my days. As long as I am rich, I am filthy rich in my days. I don't care what is going to happen to the generations that are coming after me. So these are the, the covenants that we need to fight against. These are the mistakes that we need to fight again because kuna munu ijeji ari kutotambura ari kushaya kuti ko namo iri mumusha medu namo yekuti vanasikana vemumusha medu havarorwe iri kumbobva papi yeti kuna sekuru kana mpuya vane mistake ya vakaita iri kukonzeresa kuti vacha chirorwa yeti kuna mistake ya kaitwa na sekuru kana na gogo ino konzeresa kuti even muka graduate even muka itanema PhD apana no ita shinooneka apana no anabasa apana no vaka imba apana no ita say why because there are some covenants in the background there are some covenants in the foundation that are speaking against us imagine kuti the sons of Hezekiah that he beget vaka uya vaka zotorwa nema ba Babylonians vakaenda kunoitwa vasungwa kunoitwa vatapwa they don't even know that there is a mistake that Hezekiah made that is costing us right now there is a mistake that Hezekiah made that is now um leading us into this slavery that is now leading us into this bondage hapana chavari kuziva vari kungozvarwa vachiti tsharara ma a normal life but nekuda kwe mistake yakaitwa na Hezekiah ma Babylonians ano uya overtora vonoita vatapwa in a foreign land. Yes, there are people who are suffering because of these mistakes. There are people who are suffering because of these covenants. There are people who are suffering because of these rituals that were made on our behalf. Kutimunu an akatora rama achishandi sama virtues ne potential yema generations angacha zoya because if you go to 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 uh, to uh, to um uh to a witch doctor and he or she tells you kuti nduku ku itira shaur kuda but vanaska na vacha zororwe it means whatever you are going to enjoy from that covenant or that ritual it is at the expense of my marriages ever anaska na vemutzinza rako. It means watenka ma marriages ever naska na vedzinza rako uchi shandisa uchi 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 uane ufumi watenga potential watenga ma virtues ever nave mudzinza kuti wewe uzhunga nidzire upfumi wako so you may find kuti kune madzichate guru vakato enjoya vakazadza mombe mumatanga vakarima zvaishamisa vakaita vavhimi vanga vaine mukurumbira at the expense of us the generation that is there right now Vakatoneita agreement yo ya kuti je kuti vacha zoita marombe vacha ita zvidakwa vacha tadza kurorwa vacha tadza kubata vana azvina basa as long as inini mumazuva angu maita rugare these are the covenants that we need to fight against. These are the covenants and the rituals and the altars that we need to fight against. Ma ota za kasi mudzwa na na mbuya na na sekuru. That are still speaking against us. Ma covenants ava kaita ne ma rituals ava yita. That are still speaking against our lives. Kune vanu varukura rama vari ku Babylon ijeji. Bakatoru wa vakaitu kwa vatapka ne vasumba. Because of some agreements and some mistakes that our ancestors made. 
So I just want you to pray right now. Uti Mari, I'm not going to pay for the mistakes that I did not make. Any mistake that my ancestors made, any mistake that my father or my mother made, is not going to affect me. I disconnect myself. I marinate myself in the blood of Jesus. I, I, I disconnect myself and I cover myself with the blood of Jesus from today on. And we and we screen my mistakes akaitwa na na sekuru. And Richard, we screen my mistakes. I can't go now. Now go go marry. Can I find my covenants? Ava ava kaita. Can I find my rituals? Ava kaita. Can I find my altars? Ava kaita marry. They shall not affect me from today. I am no longer the candidate of those mistakes. I am no longer a candidate for those altars. Begin to pray. Begin to pray and say, I cover myself and I disconnect myself right now. Di ezekaya arati zamambwe Babylon jai na shomari, but. Kwenini mwananti no tamburirei. Kwenini mwananti itirwe imu sungwa. Kwenini mwananti itirwe imu tapka. Ndataza nei kurorwa nekuda kwe mistake ya kaitwa na ezekaya. Ndataza nei kuchata nekuda kwe mistake ya kaitwa na ezekaya. Ndataza nei kubata oma na wangu muma woko nekuda kwe mistake ya kaitwa na ezekaya. Let ezekaya pay for his own mistakes. Let ezekaya pay for his own mistakes. In the name of Jesus begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. If there is any mistake, if there is any mistake that my ancestors made on my behalf that is affecting me right now, Lord, I disconnect myself and I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I am coming out of those agreements and those covenants. By the blood of Jesus, I now plead the DNA of Jesus inside me. In Jesus' mighty name, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Whatever mistakes, parental mistakes, ancestral mistakes, that are affecting us right now. Lord, I disconnect myself. We see Sakuti. Even Daniel Ariku Babylon, Daniel Vana Daniel Vasotoro, Vanuitava Tap, Vanuitava Sungwa. There is a time Daniel Yanoshika Pakuna Matachiti. I confess my sins. I confess the sins of my people. I confess the sins of my forefathers. I confess the sins of my fathers. I don't we see Sakuti. Nyaya Aina Kutangira Pandiri. And Dina Chandaka Tadza Chingaita Kutin Dinga Ndiri Mutapka Wakadai. Kunan Madzi Baba Nana Sekuru Vanesha Vakaita Jakonze Sandinga Ndiri Mutapka Muno. Kuna Madzi Sekuru Nana Maina Nampuya Vanema mistakes Avakaita. A Kwanze Sakutin Dinga Ndiri Kunok. But Mari, the way I manage to confess, I'm not only confessing my sins, but I'm confessing ancestral <laughs> sins. I am pleading the blood of Jesus to flow into my ancestral foundation and purge it of any sins and purge it of any iniquities, any rituals, and any covenants that they made. Because the blood of Jesus speaks a new covenant. The blood of Jesus is the blood of a new covenant. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus and say, "Blood of Jesus." Flow deep into my foundation. Flow deep into my ancestral foundation and page it of any mistakes, of any covenants and any rituals that were made in that foundation. Begin to pray. Let the blood of Jesus flow right there. Let the blood of Jesus flow right there and disconnect you and silence every other covenant that may be speaking against you. May the blood of Jesus begin to speak a new covenant upon your life. May the blood of Jesus begin to speak a new covenant upon your life. Chingona Mata, begin to pray, begin to pray. Ati zive mari javakaita kune vakaponda. Ati zive mari javakaita kune vakauraya. Ati zive mari javakaita kune vanema covenants avakanoita. Ati zive mari kune vane javakano chaga javaku afecta isusu. But I pray Lord I disconnect myself. Let the blood of Jesus begin to speak for me. Let the blood of Jesus speak on my behalf. Let the blood of Jesus disconnect me. Let the blood of Jesus page that filthy foundation. Let the blood of Jesus page my filthy ancestral foundation. Kune van vanema foundations ane uroi uchiru kutaura. Kune van vanema foundations ane umondi uchiru kutaura. Kune van vanema foundations ane umpava uchiru kutaura. Kune van vanema foundations ane urombo uchiru kutaura against them. I just want you to pray and say, Lord, that was them. This is me. 
forgive me and disconnect me from those covenants. Forgive me and disconnect me from these rituals. Let the blood of Jesus purge my foundation. Let the blood of Jesus flow deep into my foundation and purge it and cleanse it in the name of Jesus. Continue to pray, continue to pray, continue to pray, continue to pray, continue to pray. So, our prayer assignment number one tonight at midnight, our prayer assignment number one tonight at midnight is coming against all ancestral mistakes, coming against all parental mistakes, whatever mistakes they committed, whatever errors they committed, Lord, they cannot affect me. I'm no longer a candidate of that in Jesus' mighty name. Do you know, Kuti? Kune zhun jakawanda jayitika muma days ana se kuru vedu. Kune zhun jakawanda jayitika muma days ana gogo vedu. Those days kukuna mata mwari chayi akanga asata kuzikanwa. What they believed in was kuenda kunganga kuno konsauta. Vote merwa nyora zavai temerwa. Vovo itwa javai itwa vojikiswa mishonga ya vai jikiswa. But when I introduced this theme dakata orandikati. Juri kunzi na Hebrews levi anokole and we discovered that Abraham and Levi have four generations. But when we na Abraham, we are going to affect the fourth generation after him. So in the same manner, when we are going to four generations ago, could be affecting you right now. When we are going to have four generations ago, could be affecting you right now. When we are going to have four in their blood, when they were Carrying you in their loins. Vane vane nyora zavai temeru. Vane mishonga ya vai jikiswa. Uri mochete muma loins avo. Se jakanga jakango ita wo levi. So pavai ita jese ijojo. They were also doing it on your behalf. Because when Abraham paid the tithe to Melchizedek. He did it on behalf of vana levi jizukuru je jizukuru. So jese jaka itwa. Ma mistakes esa ka itwa. Ne ma ancestors. Ma mistakes esa ka itwa nana we cannot pay for those disconnect us let the blood of Jesus begin to speak a new covenant let a new covenant begin with me let a new covenant begin with me it ran in the family but let it run out of my blood right now by fire let it run out of my blood now and let it be replaced by the blood of Jesus let it be replaced by the DNA of Jesus begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray pray again every ancestral mistake, every ancestral error that is affecting you right now. Kuna nase kuruva izi kanwa ne kuponda, kuponda, kuuraya chaiko chaiko. And because of that, it's still affecting you. Kuna nase kuruva izi kanwa ne mnemuji uno makaregeza. Mangavane poligami eva kazi kana 50. Pray, ma era zava kaita iwa yomari. They cannot affect me. Let the blood of Jesus flow deep into that foundation. Page it and cleanse it of that spirit of lust begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray against parental mistakes parental errors begin to pray against parental sins par ancestral sins begin to pray 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 confess ancestral sins confess ancestral sins confess parental sins disconnect yourself from all the covenants that they made from all the rituals the dedications that they made disconnect yourself disconnect yourself disconnect yourself in jesus mighty name so that is our prayer assignment number one tonight at midnight tonight at midnight we are praying against parental mistakes and parental sins, ancestral mistakes, and ancestral sins. In Jesus' mighty name, Kanavakaita Mari said, you now have an idea of the things that you need to pray against, the things that you need to pray about. So, pa midnight prayer, you are, urukutora bepara kora waka nyora iroro, pana sekuru waka mbopo nda mzinza. You are praying, you are saying, I'm disconnecting myself from those sins. Lord, I confess those sins. Forgive me and disconnect me. You are pleading the blood of Jesus and you found out you are praying against all those mistakes and all those errors. So number two, we are going to read Judges chapter 6 uh, verse 11 to 16. Judges chapter 6, we are reading Judges chapter 6. Judges chapter 6. Um, 
we are reading from verse 11 to 16 but it's a taverenga verse 11 to 16 i just want us to read uh, verse 1 so that we have a background of what was happening to the mid to the israelites at this particular time what is it that was happening uh, in verse 1, uh, Judges chapter 6, verse 1. Then the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord. So the Lord delivered them into the hands of Midian for seven years. Uh, and the hand of Midian prevailed against Israel. Because of uh, the Midianites, the children of Israel made for themselves the dens, the caves, and the strongholds which are in the mountains. So it was, whenever Israel had sown, Midianites would come up, also Amalekites and the people of the east would come up against them. Then they would encamp against them and destroy the produce of the earth as far as Gaza and leave no sustenance for Israel, neither sheep nor ox nor donkey, for they would come up with their livestock and their tents, coming in as numerous as locusts. Both they and their camels were without number, and they would enter the land to destroy it. So Israel was greatly impoverished because of the Midianites and the children of Israel cried out to the Lord. I just wanted, wanted us to have a brief background of what was happening when the Lord finally appeared to Gideon. So let us now read uh, Judges chapter 6 verse 11. Now the angel of the Lord came and sat under the terebinth tree which was in Oprah, which belonged to Joash the Abbey's right. Why will his son Gideon thresh the wheat in the wine press in order to hide it from the Midianites? And the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him, The Lord is with you, you mighty men of valor. Gideon said to him, Oh my Lord, if the Lord is with us, why then has all this happened to us? And where are all his miracles which our fathers told us about, saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord has forsaken us and delivered us into the hands of the Midianites. Then the Lord turned to him and said, Go in this mighty of yours, and you shall save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. If I not sent you? So he said to him, Oh my Lord, how can I save Israel. Indeed, my clan is the weakest in Manasseh, and I am the least in my father's house. And the Lord said to him, Surely I will be with you, and you shall defeat the Midianites as one man. Now let us go to verse 25 and 27. Verse 25 and 27 to 27. Now it came to pass the same night that the Lord said to him, take your father's young bull, the second bull of seven years old, and tear down the altar of Baal that your father is. And tear down the altar of Baal that your father is, mark that, and build an altar to the Lord your God on top of this rock in the proper arrangement and take the second bull and offer a burnt sacrifice with the hood of the image which you shall cut down. So Gideon took ten men from among his servants and did as the Lord had said to him. But because he feared his father's household and the men of the city too, too much to do it by day, he did it by night. So, the second prayer assignment today is to fight against evil ancestral altars. We have read, um, uh, we, we, we covered a brief background of what the Israelites were going through. The Bible is saying they would sow and do everything, but at, at the time of harvest, Pankova Yekukowa, the Midianites and the Amalekites would come and destroy their harvest and destroy their plants and even their sheep and even their ox. So much that the, the Israelites were now impoverished because of this situation. But we want to see what is opening the doors and the gates for these Midianites and these Amalekites? Why is it that the Midianites and the Amalekites are having access to the, 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 the Israelites' harvest? Then the angel of the Lord comes and ministers to Gideon. But the same night in his dream, Gideon Arku Woods one angel kuti, you should destroy your father's altar for bow. Meaning 
Jesse Jirukuitika ku Israel. It's because of an altar. It's because of altar ya bow ya kasimudwa. Irimu munjimbo. Ndo ya vuri rama doz kutima amale kaita ite jahanoda. Ndo ya vuri rama doz ma midye night kutiva ite javanoda. To the extent that Israel was already impoverished. Havana chava kanga vachi nacho. Nzara yanga iri kova sinapfuma kana mombe kana chi. Kune muri ziru eh, kukura rama in such situations. Kune muri ziru kura rama in times like this. Ze kuti patemi ya wanenge vachiti jinenge jaita. But time you are going to go to the the Midianites and the Amalekites will come and collect and spoil their harvest. Why? Because there is an altar. So we are now dealing with these ancestral altars. We are dealing with these ancestral altars. Ask me, there are so many altars for bow from the families that we come from. Kune ma altars akawanda ana bari kumuri zataka jarwa. Kana kumuri kwenye kuchirukungwa itwa jeku roa makuva. Kana kumuri kwenye kuchirukungwa itwa jeku konsa utanganga. Kana kumuri kwenye kuchine muna kubilivote ndiane machira emizimu ndiana sekuru ndia na ampuya kune maota za bawa riko kana kumuri kwenyu kuchine miko ye kuti munenge mune mitemo ya muno uzwa as a family I know kuti you, we are coming from from such families ze kuti muno gona kunzi hakuna muna anobuda ne light panze mausiku muno gona uza pana muna anochairira marara anono rasa marara panze usiku all those miko it's because jino jino miko yese iyoyo ne mitemo yese iyoyo kune outer ya jine nge jabva there is an outer that is still standing iriku kupai mitemo iyoyo. There is an altar that is still standing iriku kukudite mainira imara ramiro amuno fanru akuita. But at the same time controlling you. At the same time impoverishing you. At the same time opening doors and gates for the Midianites and the Amalekites to spoil and squander you. Ma altars ayitwa ni ma ancestors. And uh, ije jiz ukano vunza kana baba wako kuti nai baba sayi mchita atifanruwa kuita chakati ne chakati. Ukava vunza kuti sayi mchita atijge nguruwe. Sayi mchita atijge chakati ne chakati. Mano kuzoti andi zivi obati mutemo andaka siya nda uzwa na baba. Iwa sekuru wacho pangwe wanga wasinga tombo zivi owa siya wa uzwa na baba wavo. Why? Because kuna sekuru kumashure uko. Wakano ita kofi Vene ndi wakasumu za outa ya kava pamitemo ish. Saka, imi makura rama mchite zera outa i. But the, the, the disadvantage now is wakasimu waka za outa i. Vane ma instructions mamwe avaka piwa. Avaka tadza kuzosia wa uza vaitera kuti we do this and we do this and we do this for this outa. And because kune jima jaisinga chaitiwe outa i. Ya kukurwisa i because ine mamwe ma demands ayo amsisiri kumita. Ima anji murukungwe ita because makawudwa. But akai tanga outa ane jaito ziva. Ane mitemo ya ai ziva ya ifan but still it is an altar for bow and as long as it is altar ya bow ma midianites ne ma amelekais are gekuwe are geze kuuya vachi spoiler harvest yenyo are geze kuuya vachi spoiler jese shamnenge minajo so we, 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 today and tonight by midnight we are praying against ancestral altars ma altars ese Arikuti afeta. Ma altars ese arikunza ma media nights ne ma amalekais. Ma agreements ne ma covenants ese. We are coming against those. Alright. Regaindi vunzi. How many of you are coming from families ze kuti zine mitemo ye kuti atijge chakati? As a family. Ati techa kati pano pamusha as a family. If you are coming from such a family and you are free, may you type kuti nje jipi jwa munora mbidwa kuita kumba kwenyu. Nje jipi mitemo ye kuti even you walk and bofungo luta. But why? Jiruku va papi. Say tiru tichin za tite shakati. Say tichin za tite shakati. If you are free, can you type kuti inina I come from such a family. Tinon za tige shakati. Tinon zi tisaita shakati ku family kwedu. If you are free, can you please type? 
If you are free, can you please type kuti nde jipi jamuri kurambizwa nde ipi mitemwe iri koku msha kwenu. Ugare waziva kuti kuntori ne outa ya bao iri kufurira mamidye na isi ne maamaleka iti muupenyu wenu. Chandru dotu ubate ipapapa ndeche kuti Angel ino to uya iti adresa Gideon kuti mighty man, mighty man of valor. You mighty man of valor. But ukatarisa, Gideon wacha harikunzi muru mewe umare. Akato jivarira akawanda ma Midianites. Meaning identity yake chaiyo chaiyo. Yaka vigwa. Identity yake chaiyo chaiyo. Yaka futsirwa because of an altar. Do saka manerar kuzo ita dream. Yekuti, I want you to go and destroy the altar of your father. The altar for Baal. Yes, people are now typing. Inda kakuranchinzu usachaira mara rapanze usiku. Yes, that, that is an altar. Tora ambit wakujganyama yegwai. That is an altar. That is an altar. So, iri komite moya kadai kuma families kwa tinova. I know which some, some of you who are here, you are not free you need to type. But iri komite moya yoyo, isusu kumisha kwe luchaka kura chinzi, atijike derere, atijike nguruve. Patiku zichaga kutijiru kuva papi, apana nukupa explanation ya kakwana. But i altar iri kusevwa, iri kupavanu mitemo ya kaita seyoyo. So this is now what we want to pray against. This is these are the altars that we want to destroy. Ancestral altars that we want to destroy. Ancestral altars that we want to pull down because they are opening gates and doors for the Midianites and the Amalekites to attack us. So Wesa Arkuvaku family Akadaru, your prayer assignment number two. Pray against ancestral altars. Na mata against my ancestral altars. Ariku affecta upenyu wenyu as a family right now. Mitemo ye se ya maite ye zera. Ya iva ku altar ya kasevwa. Ku altar ya kamisi kidwa ne ma ancestors. Iti vura ma doors for the Midianites and the Amalekites. We need to pray against such. Gideon is a mighty man of valor. Vajin venu pano murivan vakuru according to the will of God. But because of an altar, because of some ancestral altars, Jaka Futsirwa, identity yo yo yaka 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 vigwa, ma virtues iwa yo aka vigwa. Ja kuto da kutanga tapara za ma outa zaya. Kuti identity ibude pachena. Kuti ma vetu ziwa yo avukunyure. Because you discover kuti after destroying this altar of bow. Gidi yo nano toye nda kunorwa. Nema midianites, nema amalekites. Agova kunda. Umaiti man of vala ova wabuda. Identity ya kecha yo yo vayabuda. Calling ya kecha yo yo vayabuda. Kuti he is a captain. He is a leader. He is a, he is a, he is a man of vala. But Janga Shaka Futsirwa Nekuta kwe outer. How many of you right now Munema destiny Zaka Futsirwa? How many of you right now Munema identity Zaka Futsirwa because of ancestral altars? So Tonight, we are praying against ancestral altars. We are praying against ancestral altars. Any ancestral altar that is fighting against me, any ancestral altar that is bearing my virtues, that is bearing my destiny, I come against you in the name of Jesus. Um, so for this, uh, for, the, for prayer assignment number two, we are using Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 10. Let us read Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 10. Tins we kuti iri kutichi jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10 jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10 see i have set this i have this day set you over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down to destroy and to throw down to build and to plant so God is giving you the authority to root out and to pull down every ancestral altar. God is giving you the authority to destroy and to throw down every ancestral altar. And in its place, God is giving you the authority to build a new altar and to plant a new altar. Because even Gideon Achipiwa instruction, Alkunzi, go and destroy the altar for Baal that your father has. And in its place, I want you to build an altar for me. So, Panema 
vanhu pano vari kunzi namwari paradza ma altar zemadzi tate guru usimudze altar yangu inini Jehova in the place of that altar kune vanhu vari kunzi namata uchi uchi commanda moto kunmachira nemazango ameno zvaichengetwa nana sekuru kune vanhu vari kuchengeta machira kune vanhu vanochengeta makano whatever zvema ancestors zvavari kuchengeta mwari vari kuti indai muno paradza zvinhu izvo zvomugosimudza an altar for me in the place of those altars i know kuti physically it may not be possible for you to do that but in the spiritual realm in the pra in in prayer wakamira standing on the blood of jesus and the power of the cross you can command and begin to declare kuti those things even if they are there they are not going to affect me anymore they are not going to affect my family anymore i cover myself i cover my children and i disconnect them from any covenant or any ritual that is going to be made kuchishandiswa zvini izvozvo so that is your assignment and in the place of that altar you need to raise an altar for god you need to save god ndo saka mchinzwa joshua chitaura chiti as for me and my family we shall save the lord as for me and my family we shall we shall save the lord so kune vanhu vari pano vekuti kune ma altar zvakasimudzwa ari kukurwisa kune ma ancestral altar zvachakamira ari kukurwisa but i'm glad that god is now giving us the authority god is giving us the mandate to tear down to pull down to destroy to uproot those altars and in the place of those altars to raise an altar for him to raise a prayer altar for the lord so that is our prayer assignment tonight that is our prayer assignment to tonight and also still on that i want us to read psalm 2 verse 9 i want us to read psalm 2 verse 9 psalm chapter 2 verse 9 um it says you shall break them with a rod of iron now we are talking about those ancestral altars you shall break them with a rod of iron you shall dash them to pieces like a potter's vessel so we dash every ancestral altar with a rod of iron and we speak the blood of jesus deep into the foundations of those altars we raise an altar for god as a family we raise an altar for god as a couple we raise an altar for god as a uh, as a nation we raise an altar for god as a platform so that is our prayer assignment that is our prayer assignment tonight we are praying against first we said against ancestral mistakes we are praying against ancestral mistakes and errors number two we are destroying tearing down pulling down ancestral altars that are still speaking against us because the bible says for our weapons are not canal but they are mighty to the pulling down of strongholds so god has given us that mandate god has given us the authority to pull down those altars using our weapons of of warfare standing on the word of god putting on our faith and coming against those altars standing on the power of the cross standing on the blood of jesus so that is our prayer assignment today pray against ancestral altars that are standing and fighting against your destiny that are bearing your destiny that are bearing your virtues that's our prayer assignment we are praying for those two things tonight we are praying against ancestral mistakes we are praying against ancestral altars i i i am encouraging you kuti urambe uchita research kuti when you are now praying unengo wa kutoziva vamwe venyu kune ma altar ze hunanga kumuridza munozvarwa vamwe venyu kune ma altar ze anti marriage vamwe venyu kune ma altar ze poverty vamwe venyu kune ma altar ze uroi chaiyo anto zikano so you need when you are now praying you are praying you are saying i pull down every ancestral altar of witchcraft i pull down every ancestral altar of anti marriage i pull down every ancestral altar of polygamy i pull it down you are praying unema altars mamu awa kutoziva kuti aripo and you are praying against them so that is our prayer assignment as we move on with our theme you could see we are praying against bloodline cases we are praying against ancestral cases so on this prayer assignment it is also um wise to pray confessing any ancestral sins that you know pray confessing ancestral and parental sins that you know and so that is it thank you very much
for joining me for this live stream. Thank you very much for joining me for this live stream. May God bless you. Midnight, we are on. We are praying against parental mistakes. We are praying against ancestral mistakes. We are praying against um, ancestral altars. We are praying against parental altars. So that is our prayer assignment. That is our prayer assignment. May God bless you. You have a good day. Um, I don't know. I may be. I may be live tonight at midnight. I may be. I may not be. But I've given you a prayer assignment for tonight. God bless you. I love you so much. But God loves you more.